Just outside State College sits the picturesque village of Lamont. It's quiet here and can feel a world away from the busyness of Penn State's campus less than two miles away. It's a popular place for university, faculty, staff, and students to live. Um, we, have some, we have some shops and some restaurants that I've, I've seen kids get off the bus and go to. For many who live here, the bus is essential to their commute to and from school or work. For me, like the bus is part of Lamont. It gets people to Lamont, not just to State College, so, um, and I think it's a big part of us. So, when CATA initially announced in July it was planning to cut back on service to Lamont, many residents were surprised and frustrated. Some took to social media, including Facebook, to voice their concerns. And it's not just residents dealing with the issue. Businesses in the historic district also started to feel the effects. And people working here had a tougher time getting to and from Lamont. Even one of our baristas would come in on the bus. Uh, so the nearest bus stop for her then was over by Hickey's, and then it's a mile hike to get here. Facing backlash on social media and written complaints, CATA took notice and now says it's committed to finding solutions. So the CC College Connector is, has a frequency of 54 minutes running Monday through Friday, and we actually have additional late night service. Along with adding the College Connector line back in, CATA is now offering a new service to help residents in Lamont get around easier. Catago is a microtransit on-demand service from Monday to Friday, and it's actually 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. as well. And this is a curb-to-curb -curb service. Residents hope their vocal feedback and changes by CATA will help fix the situation. In Lamont, I'm Conrad Frisch for the Center County Report.